Good morning. Glad you could join us out on the homestead. We appreciate you watching. Well, going to start the day off a little lumberjack work and cut a tree down. So, let's gather up our tools, get out there and uh, cut that tree down. Well, it went pretty much exactly where I wanted it to. Yay for that, that's awesome. Now the cleanup begins. All right, I came over here to get the lawn tractor um, and the little trailer to cart off the, the clippings when I start pruning that tree that I just dropped. Um, started up the lawn tractor and let the clutch out and it made a horrible noise. So I just kind of investigated and found that one of three pulleys underneath was stuck. So I was able to twist it and get it free. I'm just going to shoot a little WD-40 on it to uh, help it. I'll hit the other two while I'm in there. Part of that is because we don't necessarily put it away clean. Uh, now that we have water and all that we should be doing a better job of that. Plus we've not been doing our uh, our due diligence when it comes to covering it up. Um, and So it's getting rained on. We really shouldn't do that and I'll have to get a tarp set aside just for that so that we can cover it when we're not here and when we're not using it. So anyway, I'm just gonna squirt a few squirts of WD-40, fire it up and see if that uh, fixes the problem. It's a lot better. Still makes a little noise. I might need to replace those three idler pulleys and, and bearings that they're in. Um, but for now, I think it's okay. So I'm going to use it. So no matter how hard you try, how slow you go, it's almost impossible not to get stuck by these thorns. 
they're everywhere. This branch doesn't have that many, but the ones it has, really, really hard, really, really sharp. So that's why it takes so long to clean up on these trees. I know Brenda puts it, speeds it up to like a thousand percent, so it doesn't look like I'm going that slow, but I'm going very slow, very easy. I've already poked holes in my arms and one in my finger, one in my leg. It's just uh, what it takes to do this job. Something else you have to really be careful of is when they drop on the ground, little pieces will break off with the with the thorns and they're you can step on them, they'll go right through your shoe. It's happened to both Brendan and I. Not fun. I have to go get a different pair of gloves. These are old and they're very thin in certain areas and I keep getting stabbed through the cloth part not the leather part so I'll go get some all leather gloves which is what I should have used to begin with. These are great for the uh, chainsaw because they've got good padding in areas but I think for these spikes I need some better gloves. Okay, I've got all the limbs picked up, trimmed up. Um, I don't have the main trunk picked up yet, but I did pull all this, as many of the spikes off as I could. Um, that way I'm not dragging them across the yard. I'm gonna go dump the limbs in a pile near the two burn piles. I'll use it as a feeder pile as those piles are burning tomorrow morning. Uh, wind, of course, is the only thing that might stop me. But we'll do that tomorrow morning. I'm going to cut the tree log shorter uh, to a usable length for us and then I'm going to dig around that stump a little bit and try to get that stump out at least ground level or below. And then I'm going to move on to another tree because we've got a few trees that need to come down and we were talking uh, while we were eating lunch and decided that today would be a good day to just knock those out. 
So that's the plan for the moment. And that's a big bumblebee. Did you see him? Went right in front of the camera. Anyway, let's get out there and dump those limbs. Okay, that tree's done and done. Nothing left. Except that cute little cedar tree that Brenda unburied when she cleaned up that whole mess. We didn't even know it was there. But now we have a cute little cedar tree in its normal habitat. It should be fine. We'll let it go. Anyway, thanks for watching us. We appreciate it. Don't forget to join us next time on the homestead. God bless you. Don't forget to hit that, hit that share and subscribe and like and all the buttons and things you should push. Don't forget to hit all those. The likes do help us, by the way, and we appreciate them. God bless you. We'll see you next time on the Homestead.